I really like whiteboards. In real life, you know, it's like you can just draw on them and make them look nice. But what I don't like is the fact that I can't draw at all. So I like to thank things like Miro for allowing me to do it in a pretty format. So jumping right in, Miro has a pretty cheap price from a free perspective and has a few different options for teams and businesses. So on, you can get unlimited team members for free on here with three editable boards some pre-made templates, core integrations, and basic attention management. And then from a team perspective, what's really nice is that for $8 a month, you get a complete whiteboard experience with unlimited boards, visitors, custom templates, projects, even private boards, as well as some integrations with things like Zoom where you can like present the specific things while you're in Zoom. So Miro has a desktop app and the way it works from the start of everything, it's really nice. You actually have a tab structure within here, which is something that a lot of applications don't have. You can see that there are a lot of different templates that you can choose from and that you have the option here to add different teams. So let's do a little bit of a flow chart example here. So let's create a shared board. And wow, there is a lot going on when I first go into this board. You can see that left clicking selects things and right clicking, you can move around and do a panning situation. And then you can zoom in and out from going right here on the bottom right. And you can make it fit to screen, pin map situation where you can select where it is on the screen that you're going, having it be full screen or not. I like having the, the leave full screen situation. If we hover over any of these, what's cool is that there are some keyboard shortcuts. So if I type T right here, it allows me to switch to text mode really quickly. Then there are things like sticky notes. So if I press N, I can drop a little sticky note on this whiteboard. And then this is an example sticky note. And there are all of these options when you do things. And it gave me a pop-up that's really nice, which shows that I can switch the type. So easily change the shape or type of your objects. So really quick here, you can see that we can link different things to this sticky note. So if I, for example, to take the pricing of Miro, go back here, confirm. So this sort of links to that, which is cool. I can lock and have it be stuck where it is and not do anything to it. Then I can quickly hold a long press and it unlocks it. I can export this to a CSV, duplicate, copy it, move it up and down. Check the info here as to when it was created. Edit the link afterwards. Just copy the style or even save it as a template or create a frame. And then you can do all the different things like change your font size, change the different shapes here. So I can change it from that sticky note to a rounded circle or whatnot or a quote, change the alignment, insert a link, change the text color, all these different nice things here, which is really just great from a visualization perspective. I think if you have all these options, we really do enjoy it. And then just to showcase something else, obviously I've shown you just sort of like how to edit shapes and sticky notes. Let's draw something. So we have a few different options for lines here. We have like one without an arrow, one with it, a little curvy line, and then a arrow with like an empty center. So let's do this one. Let's take this guy and drag it here. So that kind of makes it do a right angle. But if I want to change this, I can change the different types of arrows that would be there from an aesthetic standpoint, or I can change it from being that sort of right angle situation to a direct line or a curve or a dotted line here. There's a lot of different visualization options color wise. I can insert a shape into it in the middle of it to break it up. Press Control Z to undo that last part. And if we click on this, I can type something along there. So we can see there is so much functionality to this. And then from a more tool standpoint, we have apps within here that are awesome. We can add charts. We can make Kanban board in the middle of this thing. I mean, this thing is just ridiculously useful from a visualization standpoint. I mean, who would have thought you can make boards, edit the entire board settings, and then really quick on the top right, we can go into presentation mode to just showcase this thing, exit out of it here. If we wanna have different slides, that's an option. We can add notes to the pages, which is really nice. And then from there, there is the ability to do a chat or a video chat here. And when you go to get more apps, you'll see there's a bunch of integrations quickly. But from a pro perspective, there's voting that you can do with video chat. I just wanted to point that out. And then you can put a timer on this as well for the pro version. And you can share these by going to the top right and copy team invite link or do it so that anyone with link 
can view it so you can send these things to anyone for free so going back to the app situation here if we go to there we have actual integrations with a whiteboard application we have the ability to use it with google calendar jira dropbox and the locked ones here are not available on the free plan just to notice um, miro app for zoom so bring miro into any zoom video meeting and collaborate instantly so you can collaborate on zoom Stay in sync with notifications and embedded boards in Microsoft Teams. That's a great option as well. You can basically have a connection to Slap where it gets Miro comments and mentions and puts it into the Slack channels that you put it. You can embed Miro boards into Notion pages. So let's look at what this Google Calendar one is. Attach and share Miro boards ahead of workspace meetings. So if I were to get this application and do this install for me, I could basically have a whiteboard discussion with chance on my podcast while we're doing notes beforehand or while we're talking about it. So a lot of these integrations are more from the sense of sharing this, but that's kind of all you need because for example, if I went slash Miro, I could take this here, copy board link, embed it here, click on C board, and I have an entirely embedded situation of that board in Notion. I can zoom out and view this, and this is gonna be nice for me if I wanna do any sort of visualizations with Rise Productive stuff. I think this is probably the best whiteboard application on the market. I would highly recommend you check it out, but I also would highly recommend that you check out this video to see how you can improve your productivity even more.